What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. As you can tell, I don't have my contact lenses in because I've worn them like most of the day for two days and I want to give my eye eyes a break. So my husband and I um, have a couple errands to run today. So got showered, got dressed, did my skincare as per usual. Didn't really do much with my hair, just kind of threw a brush through it. And yeah, so we have to run an errand and I really, I'm, I'm kind of on this doing makeup you know rolling rolling with it so i thought that i would do a makeup look before we go out but something that i could wear under my glasses and not be like so dramatic so if you're interested in watching me do that then keep watching okay so first things first i'm doing this without my corrective lenses so i can't see shit so this is going to be an interesting little makeup challenge if you will <laughs> the the no eyes challenge so yeah, I, uh, I, I filmed my video about my imposter syndrome and it's doing pretty well. Like there's heaps of people spreading it around on Twitter. People are liking the tweet. I did put up the wrong picture in the thumbnail though. And I actually posted it to Twitter and I was like, I was talking to Evelyn and I went, oh shit. And she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I posted the wrong fucking picture, but I left it. So it, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, I, when I saw that, like it dawned on me like 15, 20 minutes after the video had gone live. Okay, I can't find my brushes. I'm gonna have to move my brushes closer because I it gets to about, I wanna say about arm's length. Actually, I can't read my screen at all. So this is, I'm very blind, very, well, not blind, blind, but like I'm, I'm, I have pretty low sight or pretty bad sight. So where the hell is my concealer? Oh, there it is right in front of my face, quite literally. So yeah, my husband and I are going to go out and run a couple errands. That way we can just kind of chill and relax for the weekend and I can paint my models and edit this weekend with him. Well, I can paint my models with him and then I can edit as well. So I thought I'd kind of take the time today to film another video, get a little ahead of myself so that I have content to put out in case I have a bad week or, you know, I can't film for whatever reason. So yeah, I thought I'd get ahead of it and just go with the flow. So I, I'm really hoping this look doesn't come out super dramatic because it's going to be hidden by my lenses and so I don't want it to make my eyes look like teeny teeny tiny so yeah this is definitely uh makeup to uh makeup to do for glasses wearers I kind of want to do just a neutral brown look today but oh shit that's a lot of product but I'm wearing these really pretty um leaf colored pants I'll I'll or leaf leaf patterned pants my lord and so i thought that uh i would do a makeup look to match that and the pants are green and blue and uh navy and like li almost like a lilac color they're really really pretty in a fun pattern I bought them like two or three years ago now and i wear them every summer i love them so much i i don't know what i'm gonna do if i ever like grow out of them i'm gonna be devastated so I'm going in with my Stacey Marie and Carnival palette. And the first shade I'm gonna go in with is, I'm gonna go in with Soft Spot, which is this color here, and hopefully not destroy my palette in the making. And I'm gonna start that in my transition. Uh, I need a mirror. Better. Well, this is just gonna have to do, isn't it? So this palette is hella pigmented and you don't, and, and the payoff, the color payoff is really, really great. You don't get a ton of kickback in the pan. It just, it works out really beautifully. I actually want the Carnival, is it Carnival 3 palette that Stacey Marie's done with BH Cosmetics or Be, Be Perfect? I think it, yeah, Be Perfect. That was right the second time. Would Be Perfect Cosmetics. I really, really like their eyeshadow formula, like a lot, and would happily buy any other palette that they come out with as long as the formula is still up to snuff because this is just i love this palette so much i've used it so many times on my channel but it's because there are just so many colors i mean you saw for yourself it's crazy versatile i haven't used any of the the nudes or the browns um in the palette which i want to um maybe i'll do that just a plain neutral eye sometime soon probably because i, I do want to play with them and see what they're all about. I don't know if I'm putting on too much moisturizer or what, but my eyeshadows just aren't performing like they normally do. 
I'm using the same base that I use every time and for some reason it's just like it's oh no it's just me I can't see properly so like I was saying, my video on um, imposter syndrome is doing really well. I've had some of you share the video and tweet the video, retweet the video, and I really, really appreciate it like a lot, you know, and I, I wasn't expecting the m amount of encouragement that I've gotten so far, which is really amazing. And it's also interesting to hear that people that you think are really successful and thriving still feel the same way and it's really kind of puts it into perspective that you're not alone in this fight oh i need more coffee i'm so tired but yeah it's really it's really cool to see that you know you're not alone you're not the only one and so yeah i just really happy about it okay i'm going to take make waves which is this color here and i'm going to take that on a small floofy ended brush it's an e9 from ColourPop, and i'm just going to put that in the crease just to deepen this up and kind of marry in with that like i'm not doing a super extravagant look or anything like that but yeah i just wanted to i feel prettiest when i've got makeup on to be perfectly honest and like i haven't been feeling the best about myself lately so any little thing I can do that helps, I will do. I just am kind of dreading editing these videos. I had, uh, you'll see them before I obviously put this one up, but I did um, a video yesterday. I did two videos yesterday and God was I in pain, but I did two videos yesterday. And so I did a hit or shit and I did a, I can't even remember what I was talking about in the other video, but yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> and it was only yesterday. Thank you, Chronic Pain, for always fucking up my memory. I hate when I can't remember topics of my own fucking videos. Like, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. This is why I'm a terrible YouTuber. Okay, I feel like those match very, very well. Then I really want to go in with this color Back Chat because it looks just stunning. But it's it's got purple and blue reflect and it's, oh god, green, purple, blue, like it just shifts. Let me see if I can show you on camera. It's this color here and I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. It comes off more purple, but if I put my glasses on, maybe I can see, does it match my shirt? Which yes, it does, but that's a very dark color. But see how that just shifts and it's just magic. I really want to use that on my lids, but I don't think that it'll be appropriate for today. So the color I am gonna put on my lids is I'm gonna go in with Why Though, which is this one, and then I'm gonna go with the shade above it called Peppermint. So it's gonna be a blue and green kind of look today. So I'm gonna put Why Though on my lid, which is this beautiful, beautiful sea foam color almost. And it's just, oh, These eyeshadows are so pigmented and so creamy. I love this fucking formula. If you have, if you've been like kind of like eyeballing the the Stacey Marie palettes, I I cannot recommend them highly enough. Like, I well I can recommend this one highly. Let's just say that I'm not sure about the other ones. I don't know about the quality, but I would assume, given their popularity, that they are quite good. So I I really 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 want them. And my birthday's coming up, so in a couple of months. So maybe I can gift it to myself maybe okay so i'm going to take peppermint and i really just want to tap that all over the lid so shiny so pretty i don't know why i always why i always and i'm sure other men and women that do their makeup do this but like you hold your mouth open like a guppy when you're putting your makeup on like it actually helps anything but when you close your mouth and you put your makeup on it just feels wrong doesn't it like it's kind of like when you do your mascara and you're like like if you don't do that, you feel like you're putting it on incorrectly. Okay, so on the inner corner, actually I like this the way that it is. Yeah, I like this the way that it is. I'm not gonna touch it. So the eyes are almost done. I'm gonna put the palette aside for Mo, and I'm going to focus on my complexion. So I know that I've been away from YouTube for a long time, and you're probably gonna get sick in my face real quick, but you know, it comes with the territory, so. If you don't like my face, then fine. I don't care. I mean, I care. Obviously, I care. But, you know, if you don't vibe with me, that's fine. If you do vibe with me, stick around. Subscribe. I, I put out videos infrequently. <laughs> oh. 
There we go, Alexis. That's the Alexis we know and love. The one that can't control her snorting. So I'm going in with the Photo Finish uh, Primer and I'm just kind of rubbing that in my T-zone area. Um, using it to kind of fill in the pores of my uh, cheekies. I am quite porous there. And then obviously the places that I get more oily. And then I go over it with the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas Primer. And I, like, I've, I'm digging this out, guys. Like, it's it's almost empty. Well, I've got, like, probably another 50 or 100 uses out of it, to be honest, given how much you actually have to use on your face. But I usually take about that much and just kind of spread it everywhere that I haven't put that other primer. And sometimes over it a bit, obviously, because that's a lot of product for just the outer perimeter of the face and then I go underneath the eyes with it put a nice uh, base down for my concealer and then what I've got left on my fingers I'll kind of smush into my cheekies it's really hard to do this just by feel I know this sounds so bizarre but if you don't have eyesight problems you can't relate I'm sorry and then I bring it down on my neck as well so that's done with that I can't tell you how much I love the way the Tatcha Skin Care's smells it just is divine absolutely divine and then i like to let that kind of soak in the skin for a minute get warmed and like kind of settle in settle in do its thing and inevitably get cat hair stuck in it somewhere aha i found you son of a beach all right so i'm going in with my fenty foundation i wore this yesterday and i was wearing it for several hours and when i looked at my face in the mirror i was like oh bitch who that like I was pretty stoked with the way that the makeup came out, not gonna lie. There is this Tibetan little shop, uh, restaurant type thing, like a takeaway place, and they have the most amazing dumplings I have ever had, and so I think I might try and see if my hubby will let me get a, um, an order of them, because oh, I usually get the pork fried dumplings from there. They're massive. They're like this big and oh they're so so yummy and i've been craving them for like a week and sorry about my camera i've been i've been trying to get my head more in screen but sometimes i have to like shift how i'm sitting because my back will start hurting and so it's just like a whole thing i'm trying really hard to keep my face in in camera or in on screen in camera in focus in frame there we go in frame and um, yeah, it's really hard. It's really difficult because it, it always depends on how I'm sitting and where I'm sitting and um, not where I'm sitting. I'm always sitting in a chair. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and not get concealer in my eye today. And I'm also bringing the concealer over to the bridge of my nose so that hopefully it won't take off a bunch of my makeup when I put my glasses on or if I have to take them off, which I might have to take them off because I need to get my glasses adjusted. They are a bit too loose uh, and so they slide all over my face. So I want to get them adjusted so that they're not so loosey-goosey. So I might do that while we're down at the shops as well. Yeah, this is turning into much bigger endeavor than, than I intended and I'm sure my husband intended. So I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pack it under my eyes lightly just to prevent any creasing. And I'm kind of going to let it bake on the side of my nose, but I'm being very gentle underneath my eyes. So I know this is going to be late news by the time this video goes up, but um, how do you feel about Miss Nikita Dragon and Mr. Patrick Starr being shady little bitches on YouTube, or on uh, Twitter and TikTok? and Instagram. I, uh, I honestly, I've never really vibed with Patrick Star. Um, I did buy his Patrick powder when it came out because everybody was raving about it. So I'm like, well, I need to see what this is about. And it was, I don't remember saying anything really positive about it, but I could be wrong. But I also was still quite new to my YouTube channel and didn't really know how to review products properly. So I might have given it a favorable review, but I don't remember it being anything spectacular. And I haven't actually reached for it since I bought it. I think I might have used it in one other video, but I, I, I don't remember. So, I, you know, the, today would have been a perfect day to try it, to see what I thought, but uh, whatever, it is what it is. 
But yeah, I am um, very disappointed in Mr. Star and Ms. Dragon. But like I said, I've never really vibed with either one of them. So, you know, but Patrick Star seems like he's got a bit of an ego on him, doesn't he? I mean, he's gorgeous and his makeup skills like can't be denied. You know, but he, um, he's a bit of a big-headed bitch, you know? Oh my god, I've just dumped powder all over my top. <sighs> I guess it's what I get for shit-talking somebody. Hey. <laughs> oh well, shit happens. It's just powder. Just powder. It fluffs away pretty easily. Alright, so face is set. So I'm going to finish off my eyes real quick. Uh, again, not doing anything real fancy or anything like that. I'm going to go back into my palette and I'm going to take Soft Spot, which was the first color I used. And I'm going to find the correct brush for it. Take it on another E9 from ColourPop. Actually, I'm going to go in with Showboat, which is this green down here. Oh, Butterfingers, but I didn't drop my palette. I'm going to take Showboat, and I'm just going to run that underneath the lashes. Okay, that's not wanting to stick directly under my lashes. I don't know why, but this color is a little bit darker than I had intended it to be, but it is okay. Yeah, this is much darker than I intended it to be. I'm trying to go with light and airy and I didn't come up with that. But I'm going to remedy that quite quickly. I also took it down a bit farther than I intended, but I'm gonna go in with peppermint and I'm gonna take that and put it over this and on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, that lightened it up a bit. That's good. Oh, I really like peppermint. That is a gorgeous shade. And then I'm gonna take one of my new ColourPop liners. I'm gonna take the color Zulu, which is this green color and I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line because when you put a lighter color on the inside it opens your eyes up a bit and again because I'm gonna have them behind my glasses I want my eyes to be appear to be bigger so using a, um, a lighter colored liner will open your eye up rather than closing it off like blacks and browns can do so if you look you can tell that this eye looks more open and bright and so yeah and this one looks much more closed off I'm trying to look at my monitor just so I can see what I'm talking about to make sure I'm not talking a load of shit and see my eyes look more open they look a different color but they're like look open and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color fair play in this eyeshadow palette and I'm going this one right here this big like looks like a honking eye, uh, highlighter palette and I'm just gonna pop that in the center of my lower lash line and then I'm gonna pop it in the middle of my lid just the teensiest tiniest little bit and again that helps to open the eye up so yeah so far I'm really liking this look all right looking good good looking so I'm going with my caution mascara from hourglass this is my all-time Holy Grail, favorite mascara of all time. Actually, no, my favorite mascara of all time was Flux Tonsils from uh, Lancome. I used to buy that every time I got gratis. Oh man, every time I got gratis, I'd get like two or three tubes. I love Flux Tonsils. And I saw they came back with Definisils, which I thought was really cool. And because maybe if Definisils works really well for them again, maybe they'll bring back Flux Tonsils and I can have my favorite mascara back. But this one is a very close second. Flex Stonsils, this is more of a lengthening and separating mascara as opposed to volumizing. Flex Stonsils had a curling technology in it. So it basically like made my lashes stand on end when I wore it and I loved that. I mean, this is a bomb ass mascara. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's the shit. Or as they say, it's the tits. Okay, I'm gonna do blush and bronzer and then I am out the door. And this is just gonna be a quick little video, I think. Shouldn't be too terribly long. Um, I'm trying to condense my videos, but it's really hard, because especially, especially because, not because especially, because I talk so much in my videos and I, it's hard to cut things out. And so my videos tend to be longer than most. And, um, but I think, you know, that's okay. There are some people that will put you on in the background while they're doing dishes or driving or whatever, you know, they'll, if you want to, if they want to watch the video, they will find a way to watch the whole thing. I do need to somehow get my watch time up. I need to get my subscriber count up. I, 
I need to get more of you guys with me. I need to get um, my watch time up. And because I, I don't know, like, I, people don't sit and watch my whole video, it seems. So I need to get something like that going. And, oh, I need to do my eyebrows. I almost forgot. And so, yeah, I need to somehow get that going as well and I haven't quite worked out what that entails or what I need to do so what I really honestly truly truly want more than anything is to hit a thousand subs so I can get my uh, community tab I really 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 want my community tab because that way you know because I know all of you don't follow me on Twitter you know and and I I don't know how to tweet so I very rarely say a whole lot on my Twitter so if you guys want to follow me there that's fine it's at she's party but yeah i want to hit a thousand subs so i can get access to the communities tab i don't really care about monetization any money i make will immediately go back into the channel anyway so it's not like it's money in my pocket it's an investment i look at it as an investment so yeah so i really 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 want to hit a thousand subs soon because i feel like if i had the community tab i could keep you guys aware if, if, if i'm having a bad pain week and the video won't be coming out or whatever because, you know, I feel like you guys should have access to that information and would, you know, it would benefit my channel, I think, to have it. All right, the blush palette I'm going in with is, of course, the Moon Prism blush, blush palette from M Manny MUA. I'm going to go in with oh, a different brush because that one just fell on the floor and I can't be asked to pick it up. I think I might go in with the peachy color called Twilight, which is this one right here in the middle this one this one this one and i'm just gonna pop that on my little cheeky tiki's i fucking love this blush palette if he came out with another one i would be all over that i'd be like that is my birthday gift not really interested in his lashes if i'm honest i would have loved to have had like a concealer or eyebrow products even um, because he's known for his beautiful eyebrows as well and so i mean like that would have been cool. Maybe, maybe it's coming up, you know, but I mean, I, I suppose it is kind of on brand for him. He does wear lashes, um, whereas I don't. And so I have like, there's no appeal for me to, to purchase his lash collection. I think they're pretty and I could make them work, but I don't wear lashes. So there's no point in me, you know, trying to get my hands on it. I just was ungripped. No, I'm not picking my nose. I'm fixing my nose ring. It's covered in ma makeup so I'm trying to clean it off so it shines shines bright like a diamond all right I think I'm gonna do just a simple nude lip yeah simple little nude lip the question is what simple little nude lip actually mm, I am gonna use the wildflower lip gloss I think what I might do is from the Disney designer collection with ColourPop I'm gonna use boo and I'm gonna use the lip liner in oh snap so a simple little almost not there lip liner i always forget this comes out more pink than nude but that's okay it totally works with this so i'm not angry at it all right so i'm not even gonna bother with the gloss i don't need it i don't think so let's put the glasses on and see how well i actually did oh they're dirty oh my goodness does absolutely no good they're fucking filthy all right guys pray for me i don't actually know what this looks like very well so we shall see Oh, okay. That's not bad. I can feel my lashes against my lenses and that's going to drive me crazy, but it's only going to be for a little while because when we come home, I'm probably going to wash my face off and do a bit of editing and, or I might leave it on just so it's not like I haven't just wasted a bunch of product. So yeah. So this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a bit rambly. I know it was a bit all over the place. It's, it's a get ready with me. And what else do I do better than talk? Nothing. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.